Hello there and welcome back to some more Grand Turismo 4. Today we're going to continue more Let's Play. This is episode 94. In today's episode, we are taking on anti Suzuki Concepts race. For that, we need a Suzuki Concept car. And luckily, we won such a thing last episode. We are going for the Suzuki Concept S2 with 180 brake horsepower. Unfortunately, it's in Berlin black, but I don't know. It still looks kind of cool in black, I guess. It's neat. It came the Swift later on. And I liked the Swift a lot, so. Hey! Anyways, <coughs> uh, do we need to upgrade this at all? Um, What's the yeah. GSR for? Like? Fast. Relatively quick. Yeah, it's I don't like It's and it's real world drive, so... Yeah, it's something... You say real wheel drive, I think front wheel drive is better. Yeah, it's something stage 2 NA tune. This thing is actually surprisingly that. powerful. Is that I'd say one of the first time NA-tuned? Uh, no, we've NA-tuned stuff before. I think, no, the Chrysler um, was supercharged, wasn't it? Diff would be definitely Yeah, I'm going to diff it. Okay, so turbo would be a bit more power, but there. Yeah. I wanted na tune for being different. It's the Suzuki. I'm different. It mm. is a Suzuki. The whole point of the thing is that it's going to rev to the friggin' moon, because motorcycle. You say that, their road cars aren't exactly... What's the word I'm looking for? Any Anything like what their motorcycles are like? That, well, I mean... You say that, the GSR4 is literally a motorcycle. Anyways, twin ring Motegi's first. Yeah, the, the, the car in this game, the GSXR4, is like a motorcycle on a car chassis. Yeah. I think it's got like a black booster engine or whatever the fuck it was called. <laughs> Speaking of the GXR4, there is three of them in this race and three S2s. Which makes sense because I'm fairly certain I know what the price car is for this. Mm. Yeah, I think it's the opposing car, correct? Mm, I've just uh... noticed something. What? <laughs> this thing makes talk all the time, apparently. Oh my uh... God. <laughs> Jesus. Fucking hell, that talk band. Is this a That's hybrid that. or something? I doubt it. But yeah, this would eventually become Swift because the Sw it's a fault. It's got a folding metal top, which the Swift never had. Which I don't really know why. If Suzuki had already worked out how to add a folding metal roof. I mean, I get the demand probably wasn't there, but even still, doesn't make a whole lot of sense not to. I just realised I should have put the nitrous boost gate. Did I put the nitrous boost up any, or did I not? I put the nitrous up to 100. Oh, did I? Max power. But yes, those GSXR4 things are motorcycles, basically. Pretty much. Power, yeah. Oh my god, I can feel the torque. Oh, I have torque. Uh. And nitrous also means, yeah. Please have six gears. Did wheel spin? Thank you. Oh! Well, that was a bit sooner than I expected. Whoops. <laughs> oh well. It ended mostly okay, for us at least. Not so much him, but... Who cares about him? Who? Oh. The guy driving a GSX-R4. Yeah, it, it's a Swift, but it's got... A big ass, basically. I'm a swift, excuse Hello, me. Hello, I'm a swift man. Just give me the big I, I fucking have a BSOD mid stream. BSOD. Ah. Oh, blue screen death. That's fun. I'm... So, how's your sex life? I don't think that's fun. Oh, it was so much fun. Although, I did get raided by 10 people, which was good. Hey. Nice. Nice. It does appear that I am starting to grow a little bit. Hey, I mean, that's... Hey. You're doing the thing, uh -huh. which is good, because everyone's just like, Oh man, I'm so bummed out over streaming, no one's coming to watch it. It's like, yeah, that's sort of the point. You need to build a viewership audience, my friend. I'm glad things are looking up to you. We well. all built audiences, that's the reason we're all here. The real ham? Who changed my name? I have no idea, I didn't. Rather than become the Ooh. real Matt, Kappa. 
Matt Striker. There you go. The real Matt Striker. Hmm. Oh, this is what it's all about! This is what it's all about right here on TNA Impact. But he's not, he, but Matt Striker is not on TNA. He was on he's TNA. He's on New Japan, isn't he? No. He was, on wasn't Japan. he one of the TNA commentators? No, no, that, no that's, that's Josh, Josh Matthews. Matthews. Oh, yeah. Good he's worse. God, he deserves to stay there. Hey, do you remember when they, like, when they, like, relaunched it with Anthem and the first thing they decided on doing that would be really good was having a commentator versus commentator feud? Oh! Which involves Scott fucking Steiner. Scott <laughs> Steiner? Yeah. He's still on Impact. <laughs> God. He like returned for like the fifth time in the last year recently. Oh look, is this uh Forza Four? Yes, he's playing yeah. Forza Four. We are driving a not Suzuki Swift. I'm playing and watching as much as I can. I like the LED lights on this thing actually, they look really cool. Hmm. I really like this car. It's just cool. the Swift concept. Yeah, I like the Swift. I like the Swift and I like the S2 concept. I like the S2 concept It's actually more. fun you join at this time, oh. Torrent, because the GSX-R is basically a motorcycle with four wheels, so... Hey. So, basically, it's just a motorcycle. Yeah, I think know, they like had a... a it's a Chickster, bro! I think they had high booster engines in them, and they're just four-wheel. Well, that's the 1300R, then. I think that's like Higher the Black booster. <clears throat> Um, Seattle Circuit. We haven't been here for a while, and I'm thankful for that. Seattle Circuit. Fuck Seattle. Seattle yeah. Circuit, the official car of Opal Tigra Ice Racing. Wait. Nah, screw oh it. my god. Alright, get this. Suzuki GSX-R4 is a concept car made by Suzuki. It reaches a top speed of 181 miles an hour. What? At nine, on how long of a road? At 9800 RPM and weighs 640 kilos. It has a mid-mounted 1.3 litre dual overhead engine taken from the company's flagship motorcycle, the GSX-R 1300R Hayabusa. Designed as a showcase for technology, the GSX-R 4 was never meant for production. It had upscale features for its time, such as GPS navigation. Wow. Wow. Well, well, Suzuki presented the Formula Hayabusa, which is an open wheel race car concept, also using the same engine. Jesus wow. Christ. 181 so miles an hour. Yeah. Got, and they're getting got, destroyed by a Suzuki Swift. <laughs> I got a nice Have you tuned your Suzuki? Yes. Yeah. That'll be wild. It's now because... producing 500 horsepower with nitrous engaged. The, GSX, the GSXR4 corners like. Fly. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh I asked Inferno whether they were quick and the answer was yeah. The answer yeah, was hell yeah. quick. Also, hey, there's a London green car in this race, which is a shame because that's the colour I wanted to get mine in, but never mind. Oh well. Again, I keep saying it, but I don't actually mind the black and white as much as I would usually. Mm. So um, at least it's not grey. Guys, I am going to be signing up for an IT course. An IT course? Oh. Yeah. I don't What's recommend that. that. <laughs> Why? I did one. I hated every moment of it. No, not, not IT courses in go to college. Oh, right. IT courses in study at home. You. You can learn how to... I mean, I know most of the stuff. I just want to brush up and get you... the qualification. You can learn advanced techniques on masturbation. I love masturbation. Masturbation is my favorite subject. <laughs> you can probably study it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, I'm pretty sure that's in well, the end. Yeah, you consider that in Sweden there's actual classes about how to become a guys, YouTuber. I'm going to do an illegal thing. Illegal thing? Illegal are, you, are you going to turn off the motorway without using your signals? I'm gonna. I'm, gonna I'm, on a, I'm on a. I'm on an Xbox game, and I'm gonna look for PlayStation liveries. Oh, they exist. There's one for a Mini Cooper S. Well, no shit. I know they exist. I'm just. 
It's like his family is in here, they're a little disabled. Who's in their house? We put their house in the table. There's a tiny part of thunder, there's a tiny part of me that when you said like A Repsol S I thought you were gonna say, I've been arrested for smuggling cocaine. Not yet. Not yet. They haven't caught him yet. <laughs> no, you no, I can't I can't imagine you being smuggled being arrested for smuggling cocaine. I can imagine you being smuggling weed. I can imagine him smuggling fucking kinder eggs. The real ones, not the ones that we have here in America. I like, I like how two of the first four that one, one show up are liveries I already had. Don't the ones in the US neither have white chocolate or uh, you, the, In the US you can't have the toy inside the egg because... Yes, because stupid people... Because stupid hey dog, people I'm gonna swallow the egg whole, watch this. <laughs> Who this does, does that? Proper. Even as a kid, I It's America. Ah, oh, that's a good point. Do you not remember how the song goes? This is America. I've only Speaking heard the of... Nicole Arbor version of that, no. so I don't actually know how the song goes. No. Speaking of America, and by, I I've, had, heard it. I had, I've heard it. I had, I had, of it. I had this, this complete dumbass look at two packets of old El Paso enchilada kits. They couldn't, couldn't tell between a cheesy baked one and a smoky barbecue one. I had some That's chav ask cheap. for some plain beef burgers and then they picked up barbecue beef burgers and it was just like, okay. <laughs> I like cheese. Chavs. Who's in the house? Big Bubba's in the house. Dope. That's we right. Need we put Mia, we need, I need to get my subscription back and we must watch Thunder. Oh, yes. What? I need to watch some Stott Steiner. Did you know Scott didn't know Big Papa Pump debuted on Thunder? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna watch some WCW Thunder because <laughs> memes. <laughs> we should just I watch. Need... Our, we should just watch anything WCW. I mean, it's all great. Anything with Hulk well, Hogan WCW in it's amazing. WCW '98 onwards, where the with Vince Russo came in. Yeah, we need to watch no, specifically it was from like the episode where the ratings slumped. Actually, no. Just yeah. Figure out whenever Vince Russo took over, maybe. Or it's actually a pretty decent. When did he get bad? Well, when he came in. No, I think Remember? it was bad before that. Like it started to go a little bit down. Like, the ratings like, were already going down, but when Russo came in. So yeah, cool, Russo. Kid. Russo, a man famous for Judy Bagwell on a forklift. Hmm. And the hey, Judy, are you doing on a okay pole. on that forklift? Huh? Hey Judy, you doing okay on that forklift? Oh. Do you know, I was watching fucking Stephen Larson the other day, and they got this question, and it was just like, which wrestling alumni do you not really count the opinion of, you know, like, people who like to speak about modern wrestling, and they was like, eh, you know, Jim Cornette's been in the business a while, obviously he likes <laughs> what he likes, we're not really... I mean, anyone who discredits Kenny, uh, Kenny Omega's obviously not right, but, you know... You gotta about... respect him a little bit, and then last one was just, uh, uh, then like someone in the college just put Vince Russo and like, oh no, we don't respect his opinion on anything at all. <laughs> 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 Fucking Vince Russo. <laughs> Vince I mean, Russo is this my, uh, my, uh, I will be honest, like Jim Cornette, like as as entertaining as he can be, he is honestly kind of out of touch. Actually, do you know when we yeah. should be watching from Tolan? Brian Alvarez. No, the first thing we should watch on fucking Thunder slash WCW, right? Do you know the best place to start? David Arquette winning the world no. title? 1997, NWO sold out. Oh, yes! Oh, that's a great starting <laughs> that was point. An all, that was probably the single worst WCW oh, pay-per-view in history. it was terrible. <laughs> they I mean, rode I mean, in I'll on garbage trucks, and Hulk Hogan was the only <laughs> yeah, person to that, figure that's out That's foreshadowing that. there. That is I mean, let's be real, Emil. If we're gonna watch WCW, we should might as well start with Nitro when Nitro started. Oh god. Because we gotta go on the roller coaster. But Nitro was today. good! Yeah, with Hulk Hogan. I would watch all the bad no, remember, remember, remember the, um, remember the, um, what was it? Big Barber versus the other guy. And it was a Mexican death match. Mexican and death Big Barber decided to run over, oh that's his name, Hugh Morris, he decided to get this random Harley Davidson and run him, run, run Hugh Morris over. 
exactly. Yeah. And NWO Eric, sold Eric out Bischoff. should be the starting point. <laughs> he could not keep character as well. Fucking Eric Bischoff. He started the bike and he said, "It you can't do that. It's illegal." And then once he runs over Hugh Morris, he says, "Good job." Speaking of Eric illegal, Bischoff. you saw nothing. Eric Bischoff is the worst fucking commentator in history. He just cannot Amazing. keep consistent. I don't know. I, I don't think he's as bad as Art Donovan was. Oh. No, you yeah, but here's the thing, none of them have got anything on Scott Steiner as a ring announcer. But he what but that's but that is a ring announcer, not commentator. Yeah, yeah, no, but I was still great when he sat in the middle of the ring with his piece of paper and he's yeah. just like feel, feel, The do, next do match is a fat bastard. Emil. <laughs> yeah. The remember the uh the NWO announcer. When Eddie Guerrero came out, he just calls him the Mexican jumping bean. <laughs> Oh god, do you know what we get to watch on NWO Sold Out? <laughs> what? The NWO uh, Girls Beauty Pageant. Oh god! Oh. What would you do to this guy? Anything, Anything he takes. wants! Anything it takes! <laughs> Whatever it takes! <laughs> but no, in all seriousness... Can we also watch New what? Jack in fucking... <laughs> just watch New Here, Jack matches while we're at it? Yes. I know. You, I know you mentioned some episodes of Nitro stuff were good. I might. As, I'll put. I'll, I'll. I'll make it better. We should watch anything that involves either Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair. Yes. You just want to start the Shockmaster, sing. don't you? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get to the eventual WCW pay per view where Booker, Booker T just called Hulk Hogan a oh. nigga. <laughs> Emil, you can't Emil. say that. Eric, Eric Bischoff's commentary as well, where he calls an injury a jump back leg round kick. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. He calls a kick to the gut a back leg front kick. Oh, God. And the only reason I said that is because it was an A. It was if an it's A. It's a hard ER, I don't go that far. I mean, I don't think a fucking word changes any. I don't really care what you say. But I don't think a letter changes the the word. Anyways. Oh, yes. I'm just quoting what he says. It's not my honest feelings of Hulk Hogan. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I like about this thing? What? The suspension shocks are exposed. (laughs) Real riders drive this car. It is not for the weak. Right. Suzuki ain't for sissies. Anyways, it makes hey, like 175 brake horsepower. This? It makes 101 foot pound of torque. <laughs> nice. Made for you the American market, clearly. <laughs> Anyways, we might use it, I don't know. It's got knockoff Alfa Romeo wheels. I mean, I've got an idea on where it could be used. Eh, we'll figure something out. Anyways, 58.4% completion, and that's it for Suzuki. Next time, we move on to Aizuzu. Join us for that until then, farewell.